All right, so hopefully you're able to use those cards to sort out some of the things that you thought the whales and the mystery fossil shared, some of the things that the wolves and the mystery fossil shared, and then some of the things that they all had in, in common. Here are how I sorted my cards, and we're gonna be using this thinking to go a little bit deeper. So if you notice, our mystery fossil had nostrils, teeth, and a skull. Those were all things that the whale had, okay? Uh, card H, G, and F, these are all things that the wolves and the mystery fossil also had in common. And then the things that they all had in common that were super unique were that they gave live birth and milk and uh, that they had a backbone. Sorry, I said that was super unique, but these are things that they all actually share, so more of a common trait. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look a little bit more specifically at these unique structures. These are our diagnostic structures that we're gonna be looking at to really explain what exactly do, do the nostrils look like on those two different animals and which one is most closely similar to our mystery fossil. So over these next few slides, I want you to start to think about that for yourself. I've got each of those different diagnostic structures now pulled out and you're gonna do a similar card sort. So you're noticing now that the background is green. So I've got both of the skulls next to each other. You're gonna to wanna to use some time to kind of think about what's similar, what's different between these skulls. And then as you go through, when you get to the end, uh, we'll look at the teeth. Almost there. We'll look at the nostrils. And then here is that mystery fossil. So you may want to take a look. I labeled the nostrils of the mystery fossil because it's a little bit tricky to know in here. Um, but the teeth are obviously the teeth right here. Um, and then the skull shape is right here. So I'm gonna go back, take a second to kind of look at this mystery fossil. And then as you go through, you can scroll, but really our idea here is since these are our diagnostic structures, we wanna be deciding which of these structures are most closely aligned with either a whale or a wolf, because out of these three things, that's gonna tell us which is the most uh, close, closely related organism. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. You can pause as you go through each of these. And at the end, you're gonna to wanna to hopefully have, start to think in your head, an idea of which exactly is this mystery fossil most related to. And by doing that, hopefully you have created and pulled some evidence from these slides to be able to explain that in an argument. We don't just wanna say what we think the answer is, we've gotta be able to prove it with some evidence. So use these green slides to, uh, figure out some evidence, and then you can always go back to that mystery fossil at the end, take your time kind of scrolling through these like we did with the other ones. Okay, so now is the moment where you are going to need to stake your claim. This is gonna be something that you're going to want to sketch out onto your piece of paper and decide where do you think this mystery fossil's relatives belong. We're gonna be placing the orca whale, which is going to obviously be representing the whale, and then the wolf. 
So think to yourself, if you started to think based on those diagnostic structures, that the whale was more related to the mystery fossil, think about which of those places it would go. And then where would the gray wolf go? And of course, if you're thinking that the wolf is more related, think about where that would go as well. Remember, our, one of our key concepts is that um, the, the organism that is the most closely related to our uh, fossil is going to be closest to it in our evolutionary tree. So take a second to pause and sketch this out. It might take you a little bit of time because there is a lot of lines here. I'm not going to stop and um, trace the lines for you because I think you can do it. You're just going to want to make sure that you decide these two right up here, orca whale or gray wolf, you're going to put one of them into this box here, one into this box here based on what you think, the one that is the most closely related should be going here for following our key concept of the closest relative is going to be um, nearest it on the evolutionary tree. So go ahead, take a second and pause. It might take you a little while, that's okay. And then we'll come back up to wrap up your full writing that you're gonna be using uh, to finish up this unit. Okay, so now is the time. Here is our chapter three question. This is the big question that we've been leading up to for the entire unit. Uh, we're gonna be placing the fossil out there in the museum and we need to know where we place it so that the guests in the museum aren't confused by seeing something that is in the incorrect place. Plus that could blow up into a pretty embarrassing story for the museum if some uh, student paleontologist maybe noticed that they had placed it in the wrong place. So. This is a question that I'm gonna be challenging you to answer and it's gonna be a little bit more of a lengthy response than some of the other writing pieces that we've done throughout the unit. And you're gonna be answering the question, how can we tell if the mystery fossil is more related to the wolves and the whales? And most specifically, you're gonna be staking a claim that says which one you think it is most closely related to. So, we already eliminated this claim three a long time ago, so I'm not gonna get into that too much. But to start off your writing today, you're probably going to want to decide which of these two claims do you think are most, uh, is most correct. Um, if you are still struggling, I would suggest that you go back in the video and look at those green colored, the slides with the green colored backgrounds. Those are where we looked at those diagnostic structures of our mystery fossil, our whale, and our wolf to see which of those structures had more similarities uh, within it. So to finish up today, you're gonna wanna answer that question. And what I have put here for you, you're gonna notice that I will click through some slides that you can use for your writing. The beginning slides are gonna be some key concepts. These may help you to kind of explain your thinking and get started before you stake your claim. Uh, I will click back through these, so don't worry, I'm gonna click through them a little bit quicker this time, because I wanna show you. Uh, I said you could go back and look at the green slides, but I've also got these blue slides here that will show you those diagnostic structures again. So you can start too, if you wanted to use uh, the nostril here, or the skull shape, or the, this also does a pretty good job of showing the teeth, you can start to use this and bring it in as your evidence. And we've got that for all of those different diagnostic structures that we identified. So I'll go back to the beginning and click through these slowly so that you can go ahead and stake your claim and say which of these two animals, the whale or the wolf, is the mystery fossil most closely related to. Um, I hope you guys have had a lot of fun working through this unit. I really have had a lot of fun making it. It's been super fun to teach. I wish I could be there with more of you helping you because I know some of the times it's not as easy as we might want, especially today was a great example when we've got those cards and we're trying to sort them out. But I really appreciate everyone's perseverance and your, your drive to work hard independently to help you get this through this and to become a better scientist. So um, congratulations for finishing this unit. Make sure you finish strong as always by making a really strong piece of writing uh, for your teacher to read. And I'll look forward to seeing you later. Thanks, bye.